Welcome to Gigi and Rili's adventures. This time in Paris. Yay. Yeah. So today, first day in in Paris, we have quite a traveling in front of us. Yes. So Germany. this video will have um, two days of our vlog. Um, the first day we are going to. <laughs> To say French. Oh, oh yeah, our French is really bad. So today we go to the Marché or Cusses. It's a, at least okay. It's the largest flea market in France. And then we go into LV exhibition later in the afternoon. So we already booked. Here yeah. we arrive at Cadunot, and then it was so hard for us to find. Uh, where how to get there? So we from Gardenon and we took the taxi and yes. we arrived here. Yeah, a taxi kicked us out a bit beforehand, but uh, yeah, now we're here and we we're looking actually for uh, some vintage lampshade. Yeah, a fabric one with a dangling thing around it. Um, actually, this market has, according to Google, around two thousand vendors. And it's full of everything cool. I have to say, like for example, this store, it has very cool fabric, but it was too expensive. It was a few. Yeah, we also um, are looking at, at mirrors and so on, and it's quite expensive. Yeah. Like the, the mirror just a few moments ago was, I think, 400 euros. Yeah. So. And yeah. it's quite hard like cause, um, to transport as well. There are some... Um, shops that you can ask them to ship, but um, of course come with cost. But I have to say that if you are looking for some decoration, it ranged from cheaper range until very very expensive, and oh, something similar to that that we'll be looking for. But yeah, so um, it you can find anything there basically, like of course vintage stuff, um, different type of design. Very very nice place. We think that when we get our own place, we definitely would go there again. Yeah, definitely. And it's uh, really some vendors. It's, it looks so messy, and some like this one here um, is very ordered, and you can spend so much time in there um, just to look around. This area is still the sheep um, part of the market. <laughs> yeah. Later on, we will go to the more luxury part. Yeah. Oh yeah, this one we saw on the way. I think it was in some expensive apartment in New York. In New York, they I think they transported it first from the UK to New York and then back to France, yeah. like around last last uh, hundred years ago. Or yeah, yeah, hundred <laughs> years ago. <laughs> and now so this, this is the luxury, expensive yeah. part with oh, so many. Yeah, look at that! <laughs> Mainly uh, they are furniture, there are only a few fashion and jewelry store, but the rest are furniture. Yeah, also again from every, like from pretty old to more modern stuff, the 60s, 70s or even, even much older, around 1920s. Mm -hmm. and it's just so much fun to walk around. And actually we saw a few marble tables oh. that um, they were not that expensive as we expected. Yeah, sadly the, the picture frames, they were quite expensive. Mm -hmm. um, everything that we saw so far, because it would be fun to have like a, a painting in one of these huge golden frames. Mm. Oh, this was also very pretty. We really liked it. Yes. How much was it? I think that one alone was like 5,000. Was it, was it 8,000? Yeah, I think all closer to 10,000 euro range. But it was also with the standing, standing ones together, I think. But then the delivery is also, yeah. I hope they still have it in, I don't know, 20 years when we can afford it. <laughs> soon, soon. <laughs> It's also very pretty. 
I think they have a very, like one of the coolest selection. Yeah. Okay, now we're out. Yeah, we're now going to the uh, station again. And yeah, up to our next. First, Patisari destination. Yeah, we uh, this this uh, vacation or journey we try to check out a few patisseries. When you're in Paris, you really wanna check them out. It's Later, we will do a video called Eat Paris. So check out for that. Yeah, if we you will have um, all of the food that we eat and patisserie that we visited. Yeah, if you don't want to miss it, and you shouldn't, you should like and subscribe. Mm. Um, that will help us a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Thank you. Help. So, um, the thing in the cup called Fuela, I'm not sure how to pronounce it in French, but that was recommendation from the staff there. Yeah, and it's... Uh, this is a mini pizza, banana bread. Very fluffy, very... Juicy banana bread. It was really good. Thing, yes, uh, really good banana bread. And not sure what is that, but also okay. <laughs> <laughs> was well, good, but sweet. And here you are, and it's very chocolatey. More or less like um, half baked brownies. Yeah. I think if you have the chance, try it. Um, it's also very stuffing, so... Yeah. Oh yeah, here uh, we saw a lot of these um, walking around and... The pixel stuff that yeah. you just saw. Yeah, uh, and you can download an app and scan them and then it tells you a little bit about the history so you can discover Paris with that. Through the pixel art. Now we're moving to the LV Dreams exhibition. Yeah, but we hope that we can go to a few patisseries on the on the way. Check them out. So here is a popular coffee shop. The vibe is gray, black, marble, and white with a little bit of plants. The queue was pretty long. We waited for around 20 minutes. Oh yeah. They, they didn't order um, some snacks. They were just to try out the coffee. Yeah, we just basically we just had, but uh, looked nice, and it's very popular. And uh, they have different kinds of beans, um, and yeah, we we just took the. The beans the, of a day the, or something. Yeah, the beans <laughs> of the day and a cold brew. Yes, because oh, yeah. it was hot. And we were walking yeah. until now, and we will walk much more. Yes. So. Ta da! Our coffee. That was pretty good. Yeah. Then, of course, Bo and me, this um, boulangerie is very popular. It's very affordable, a lot of branches around Paris, so you almost can find it like anywhere. The quality is decent and the price is really good, so. Yeah. I, like with that selection, I have a lot of problems to decide. Mm -hmm. um, didn't wanna go for, for something sweet. So went for for this one. It had chorizo in there, and uh, yeah, pretty tasty. Mm. And they they made it warm, so was a good strengthening snack. Now on the way, still <laughs> on the way. <laughs> yeah, so much a walking. A long journey. Yeah, but it's, it's a good city to walk around for sure. So, because um, every corner, every buildings are just all. Yeah, all pretty actually. Yeah. yeah. 
Oh, and then um, we here we saw quite a lot of sakura, like uh, here. And then we we finally arrived. Um, yeah, we we booked it around four or four thirty, and yeah. so here we are at just the right time. We were on time. It was quite a. I think it's a very good exhibition, right? It's very fun. Yeah, yeah you can see um, a lot of the products, um, not only the bags. But um, also other things that they do. Yeah, you learn a bit about the history mm. of the brand, and um, I was quite ignorant beforehand, and so it was very entertaining to see the origins and the thought behind it, and also fun to learn about the designers that worked with them over the years. Sometimes they have really, really cool ideas, um, like this one. Oh, and I did really like this one. The trunk with animals, like, print. Yeah, they don't. Like, embossed on it. It's so cute. They don't do, do that anymore. No, this is very old. I can't remember from when. Yeah, maybe we will see a revamp of that kind of stuff at some point. Would be fun. And even this. Yeah, did you know they they did that in the past? Like in different scarves. Scarf yeah, trying to catch some some aesthetic photos. <laughs> mm. You can also watch our Paris aesthetic yeah. in colors as well. This time we try a new concept. So we categorize Paris aesthetic by colors. You put the link down below, so please check. Yeah, it's fun, fun to to see see Paris from that side. Oh, this one is I think collaboration with Ray Kawabuko. Um, and now you can also see a lot of collaboration. And my favorite piece in the whole exhibition, which should I was running in front and then running back. And this this one is my absolute favorite: a backpack with umbrella in <laughs> integrated umbrella. It's the best idea ever. In a huge bag for your little small bags. Yeah, you only collaboration. Mm -hmm. And this one I do with um, different artists. I think it was really cool. This is my favorite. It's just so fun. You can't put it down, basically. <laughs> <laughs> to always carry it. Yeah, I think the one with the shark fin was kind of like not a real shark fin, but a, yeah. uh, was my favorite. Yeah, really cool collaborations. And also some digital art. That was really cute. With Macron and the bones. And then after the exhibition you go up a few stairs and uh, then you have on one side the cafe, on the other side the shop, and in the middle you can buy a little bit of souvenirs. Yes, bit so of this chocolate. is chocolate. It's pretty cool actually, um, design-wise. We didn't try the chocolate and we didn't buy it back, um, but we were interested in that. Yeah, the chocolate spread. Yes, it was I think 30 euro or 30-ish euro. Mm. Per jar, we bought some for souvenir and one for ourselves to try. And yeah, there we see a lot of stuff here. The the interesting thing was the two thousand euro dumbbells. Oh yeah, <laughs> the dumbbells. It's the, but also the light is four thousand, I think. Mm. Here the dumbbell. Yeah. <laughs> 
so you can work out with style. <laughs> now we go into the cafe. Yeah, we saw the cafe before. Uh, of course, checked checked it out online and looked very promising. Mm -hmm. So we had to try. And yeah, then but we, we were already very full from mm -hmm. a lot of the desserts we tried <laughs> yeah. earlier. So we kind of ordered to share. Yeah. But really, like the attention into detail here, so cute. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, they also have a good had a good selection of tea. Yeah, that's very true. Very tasty, and then you can check out the, the sweet stuff that they have. The patisserie, um, all well designed. It was pretty busy, mm. um, but we didn't have to really queue with only like a few minutes wait yeah. to be seated. Yeah, our stuff. So we have one chocolate, I can't remember what's it called, like chocolate dreams or something. And then that one is pear, the white mm. one. And then yeah, tea, mm. fruit juice. And then we try to time the tea that it's perfect. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that on the table they look very mouth mouth watering. to say it's just that I couldn't eat anymore <laughs> but it was nice even my stomach was full yeah we only had two pieces and we shared with three with, people with three people and we we were really struggling at this point and very nice but within these two I think I prefer the pear because it's more interesting the savor combination. This one is is chocolate. So. Yeah, and the pear was also this had this fresh character. So it was mm. after the hot outside it was really nice to have that. We go into the LVMH department store opposite the building. We only had a few minutes because we booked a sushi dinner. Hmm. So we checked out um, a hat, and this was really cute. It's yeah. um, a design from Japan. Yeah, and it's proper bread, like old bread that they that can light up. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that is a yeah has light integrated and fun idea. So we bought that. Yeah, we bought that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but also the department store is is worth a visit. It's very pretty inside. Mm. We will go there again yeah. during the trip. We just didn't have time. So we go another day. Yeah. This is also cute. It was Sorry. near the, the comedy like the Yes. Yeah. And then we already arrived here at our dinner. We decided to have sushi just because we're from Berlin and there are not a lot of sushi places here but I mean the authentic Japanese one there are only a few here so we crave so much for sushi that's why we're here yeah we plan to eat also some Parisian uh, food in the yes. next days but yeah, <laughs> the, there are also some that we really like. Uh, there are one cafe that we enjoyed so much. You'll see it in the later video. Yeah, but first, we needed to satisfy the craving. Yes. <laughs> I want tea. 
Yeah, food was really nice. Mm -hmm. really and now cool. we're heading to a bar. Yeah. But of course, a lot of detour on the way. Yes. <laughs> It's so easy to be distracted here. Yeah. Get lost in Paris. Yes, it's it's a good good it's thing a to thing. get. Yeah, <laughs> it's get it's good to get lost in Paris. <laughs> also, we really needed the detours. We 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 are so full. Yeah. Yeah, sun is going down, lights going up, and the city is just so pretty. Mm. First we walked past by and we're walking back again to check it out and it's full of stuffed animals. Mm. The animals are from... Natural cause of death. Yeah, they're basically from the zoo when the animal at the zoo dies and then... Yeah. And for, for most cases they did it quite cutely but mm. still... But also together, collectively, a little bit creepy. <laughs> yeah. Now we at an um, experimental cocktail club. I'm not sure if it's the same in London because they also have the same name in London, one of a bar, but maybe it's just a common name, we don't know. But yeah, we're here. We just walked in, didn't have to wait. Yeah, they had a table ready basically. Yeah, the cocktail pretty interesting, I have to say. Yes. Like, it looks very simple with the flavor. Um, very interesting. One of them that we had was with banana. Yeah. Um, we, they also offer not get alcoholic as well. Yeah, and uh, one of them was uh, had a very smoky flavor, and together with the cucumber, that really mixed well. Second day. Today mm. we're going to Louvre and Lafayette. Yeah. Louvre which actually we planned quite a while because you can stay there for so long. What did they say on the internet that if you look at each of the art for 30 seconds, was it 30 seconds I think per it's piece, a, yeah. it would take like three, a month or something? Yeah, like three and a half weeks or something. Yeah, like, like for so long so because it's such a huge, huge museum and really worth it. We, yeah. we think it's incredible. Yeah, you. If you love art, you just can't. It is probably overrated in a way, but in a way of that is overcrowded. But the art itself is not is really worth it. Yeah, and we we heard that you should get there early. So currently we try there to get early. Yes, we can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And. Uh, yeah, it's so weekend yeah. there was a, is a marathon going mm -hmm. on in, in Paris and of course uh, on the way we get distracted a lot by the yeah. city. Well, but another thing that you have to check out is in the ticket, it would say which entrance you have to go. Yeah. So you will not go to the wrong one. And our entrance is of course the main one in, at the pyramid. So we walk in there. Yeah. And with the book time ticket, it's already very full. So we waited for how long? 50, 20 minutes? 15 minutes, I think. To get in, so yeah. to pass the security to get in. And then inside, you still have to queue for which area you want to go. Yeah. So yeah, now we're inside. Yeah, going down the escalator and then the next queue basically starts. Mm. Yeah, it fills up quickly. You know. So our friend um, never been inside, so we... And of course she wanted to take a look at Mona Lisa, so we, we were thinking, okay, let's go there first before we casually enjoy the rest of the museum. But on the way, of course, then we saw this the Cupid's Kiss. Yes, yeah. it's really beautiful. So we, of course, stop by. Yeah. 
Yeah. I mean, you have to stop. It's it's really amazing. Mm. And we made a lot of shots of butts. It seems. <laughs> Not particularly the butt, but I wanted to show the fabric. Mm. Uh, it's really pretty. It's so it made the marble look so soft as the same as fabric. So, yeah. But apparently the butt is in the way too. So <laughs> <laughs> what can you do? It's it's just really pretty. Um, and it looks so romantic. So very very nice sculpture. Yeah. Yeah. After that. Hurrying up to Mona Lisa. I have to say that I think that the direction is definitely purposefully make us go to the wrong way to detour as long as we can to go to the Mona Lisa because it's not directly going to Mona Lisa. Yeah, you I pass also, everything. <laughs> I also have the feeling. Yeah. We wanted to see um, also the French Revolution mm. painting. Yeah, mm. the but this one is also cool. It's Double-sided. Yeah. Finally! Yeah, finally at Mona Lisa. And uh, it's already packed. And it's not that super organized, I would say. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you're in the front, you can basically stay in the front for a while. And that's exactly what's happening. So you have to wait a little bit. You have yeah. to plan. And the I, time. actually, other paintings here are also popular. Like this one, also very nice, the wedding piece. But um, everyone, of course, look at the Mona Lisa, so they didn't get to shine. Yeah. And I saw in the news that um, yeah, they wanna wanna they move move, yeah. move uh, Mona Lisa now to to her own room, yeah. kind of to not outshine the Nike statue. Yeah. Also very pretty. I think this one is very cool and looks so powerful even though without the head and arm is still strongly carry very cool like confident emotion. On oh, this Oh yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's uh, Napoleon. I mean the city is full of Napoleon of course. That's Napoleon uh, crowning himself to to be emperor and then his uh, wife. wife. And his mother didn't approve, so the lady that you see right now is not was not real. there. Yeah. And uh, he said to the painter, hey, put my mother in. But then the painter put her his own mother in. Yeah, put his mother's face in yes. it instead. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this one that we wanted to see it yeah. was um, not on display. Yeah. Apparently. All the ceilings are crazily pretty. Yeah. So if you have something with your neck, um, better get the check before <laughs> because it's it's turning your head turning this 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 museum. Now we at um, Joel's room. Yeah, you you can see the the crown of. Yeah, a lot of the, the French kings and queens. Mm -hmm. And of course they're all very impressive. We saw a lot of Chinese tourists took the photo while they, they just kind of scooched down a little bit in front of the crowns and then took photo as if they were wearing the crown so I, we thought it was a really cool yeah, idea yeah really we, fun idea yeah, we didn't get to do it but we thought it was so cool so pretty hmm. yeah i guess uh, the French were not always happy with their kings and queens, but they definitely had had good taste. Mm. Yeah, after that we we now really just walk through, chill and try to get as much in as possible 
Um, there's so much to look at. Yeah, from from yeah Egyptian, old Egyptian art to then now we we're in um, like the rooms of yeah back then, and at this point we have the feeling that. We weren't sure, did we really pay for that? Because mm. it's so vast and huge. Yeah, we but, thought that yeah. we, is it a restricted area? And we just casually walked in without paying for the <laughs> <Yeah>. ticket. <laughs> oh, this is where we also wanted to go. Oh yeah, Petit Galerie. Yes, because of a um, very beautiful architect and um, the sculpture. I think this is curated so well. Mm. Yeah, and with the light, with the natural light coming in it. It has a completely different feeling than the rest of the yeah. museum. Uh, sadly, we could not go um, in the middle here. We can just walk around it. Yeah, there were repairs going on. But yeah, of course, Napoleon is, Again. <laughs> is there. <laughs> He's everywhere. The sculpture is probably like the inside of the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have to put yourself everywhere. Still didn't see the movie. Still want to see the movie. Mm. Pretty cool. A lot of people taking Insta photo there also. Mm. That's fun. Yeah. And now we are out to mm. the passage. So this passage is the shopping, kind of shopping alley. And many people said that you can walk through there to enter. We couldn't find it, but you know, we use it as an exit. <laughs> yeah. And already pretty tired. Mm, now we're going to, of course, another Insta spot. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite, quite um, chill. I have to say that you can always find a place to take photo anyway. So don't worry about it. It's not that crazily crowded. And yeah. of course, to the park next to it where everyone comes, and also Emily in Paris, another Insta spot. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize that this is the Emily in Paris park <laughs> where she explains <laughs> everything. Here, you can see. Uh, that's also something I, I was very surprised that a lot of the trees are cut in this cube form. Mm. Always maintain. Oh, look at that. Yeah. What a spot. <laughs> <laughs> Always looks like the, the boy looks away. Yeah. Got attacked by a pigeon. Uh... Now we're walking because we wanted to go to one of a Japanese boulangerie. Yeah. And on, on the, the way, way, of course, we stopped by. Yes. <laughs> We, we went to this shop um, for oh, chocolate. It's chocolate. Yeah. It's definitely a recommendation. Because they also have ice cream. Yeah. 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 We didn't buy ice cream, but we got definitely chocolate. Did we get coffee there as well? Or just chocolate? Um, our friend got a pack coffee. of coffee. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, but then because the laundry was closed, so we decided to go to this yeah. Korean restaurant instead it, because it's busy, looks clean yeah. and nice. So we thought, why not? Let's yeah. try. Also, it started to rain outside, so. Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, we weren't prepared for that so yeah. well. So no umbrella. No, not enough umbrella. So we ordered like lunch set, mm. three lunch set. Yeah, and as it is tradition, uh, a glass of wine. Okay. What we like is because they also use the like, Korean traditional cutlery and tableware. I thought it was quite cool. Yeah, it looked really, really nice from outside. So yeah. I wanted to try in. Our friend really liked it. Yeah. But for us, it was a little bit too sweet. Yeah. Uh,
Yeah, what really surprised us was, was the amount of side dishes that you get mm -hmm. and they were Korean all, style. yeah, were really good. The potato was good. Oh yeah. Potato side dish. After that, we saw this cafe Isaka. They do um, gelato ice cream with um, different flavors. As different, I mean, as Asian inspired kind of. Yeah. So, for example, that is pandan, and another one is sesame. They also have something with soy sauce. Oh, yeah. um, they mm -hmm. have very. Oh, and the one we wanted to try was, um, I think, a uh, Philippine um, sweet potato or something, but they, yeah. they ran out of it. But they have all this uh, Asian-inspired flavor. Yeah, and then afterwards to Cedric Crolet. Uh, there's always a big line and um, we were also a bit late. So we didn't get to choose out of all the flavors that they have. Yeah. We what we have left here was pistachio and kiwi. Yeah. And we chose pistachio. How much is it? Like 20, 30 ish. Yes, I think 26 or something like mm. that. Oh. I wanted him to try because I came here during Corona time. There were no queue at all, and I got to try any flavor. And I got strawberry, and I think another one was peach. They were amazing, so I wanted him to try this. By the way, the statue that you just saw. What can you guess who that was? <laughs> of course, I was not tell you. Yeah, and now uh, on the way to uh, like. Already arrived at uh, Lafayette. Lafayette. So we're here because we wanted to see this view. Um, yeah. There's another Insta spot. Yeah, and you can just go up there. So yes, it's free. It's, it's very pretty. You can see the whole thing. You can see Eiffel. You can see the opera. This was the first time I saw the Eiffel Tower this, mm. this trip. I kept try to keep count, keep count from from here on. We were very surprised that all this stuff were very gold and shiny. Yeah, the gold was <laughs> really, really shiny everywhere. Mm -hmm. And I still didn't find out how, how they do it. Uh, but now it's time to try the pistachio. The pistachio. What do you think? Yeah, it's, uh, uh, it is a little bit salty. Yes, I agree. But um, I like the combination with the crispy and creamy. That's for sure. Yeah, yeah. But I have to say that if you go there, please order a fruity one. Yeah, fruity. It's so much better. Yeah. Mm. Also, according to all the Google reviews. The bad reviews are all from something not fruity. So. Yeah. Yeah, and then checking out uh, Lafayette. They have in the food part, they have quite some, some local mm -hmm. things and then we now here at the pre-love area they have a lot of different suppliers who supply this pre-love section it's quite big over a hundred um, a few hundred square meters mm -hmm. oh, yeah, and then they have uh, some in some parts of the building you can see Still see the the history kind of, of the of the building, the old old stuff. And it's yeah, very pretty. Now it's already time for dinner. Our friend really wanted to try this. She's so in love with French vintage and old aesthetic. So we are here to enjoy the interior but also hopefully the food. Yeah. Well, we booked in advance, you, we recommend booking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it, it's supposed to get very busy. 
But yeah, the interior is already very uh, promising. Mm -hmm. It's super, super pretty. But um, for, for me at least, I have to say that I was so disappointed with the food. I didn't like it at all. Like there were none mm -hmm. of the dishes that I liked. I think um, it was overpriced and it could have been so much better because it's you know, been there for a long time. Um, yeah. The place is nice. They could have done so much better, but it was not good for me. Yeah, I also was um, disappointed um, that yeah, as I said, it's nothing, no, nothing is really, really amazing, but yeah. But anyway, next day we will have a good one, so keep watching. Yeah, and subscribe. See you. See you.